comes down to this, the final home regular season game of the year for the Chicago Fire on the brink of a playoff berth. First things first, they have to go for three points tonight, coming up next against Toronto FC. Division four of Frank Lopas, in comes Rios in midfield instead of Alex McGee and Anongano to spearhead the attack once more. Again, difficult decisions for the manager, Ryan Nelson. Out goes Daryl Russell and Bobby Convey in midfield. In comes Osorio, and Becker gets the start in centre midfield. So away we go. Special commemorative shirts worn by the Chicago Fire. Skipping on the outside is McGee. Finding Duca. The chip and on Gano! Fry, miraculous stop. Just reaching out with that big paw to deny the Chicago Fire from taking the early lead. As here's that save from Stefan Fry. Great delivery from Duca. And now I'm gonna rise as high as him. What about that for a stop? Fry just got enough on it too to try and get it high enough so his defenders could get a header on it and put it away. He's a sturdy lad, DK. Reggie Lamb, bender into the box, defended by Anibaba, one-timed, taking a deflection. And will not be a goal for Toronto is coming close. Another look is a little overzealous on the attack here. Yeah, good decision. Obviously, Robert Earnshaw, you know, ten, five yards offside, just gets a touch on it. Spins it out to Rios. Brush back to McGee, he's got time and room. Mike McGee, off of the goal post, Austin Berry, almost finding the first one of this match. To drill a ball across the box to find Rios, back to Mike McGee. This was the delivery and it was nearly an own goal. goes McGee, drives it off the wall, Penalty. going to the spot, handball in the area. Plot thickens here in the 63rd minute. And before Mike McGee struck that ball, he's asking the referee, move the players back, move the Toronto wall back a few yards, didn't feel it was back far enough. In the end, they're back in the penalty area, and the ball strikes the arm of Jonathan Osorio. Referee points to this spot, and now a chance for Magic Mike to took home his 20th of the season. There's Osorio's handball that led to the free kick, and now it leads to the penalty kick. At a time when the Chicago Fire needed somebody with a calm touch, they looked to Mike McGee. Watch this for composure. Stefan Fry looks for the touch with his left boot, not too far away. That's a classy finish from a top, top player. 20 goals this season now for Mike McGee. Marco Navajo, you have some company. Mike McGee's coming for you. Jump off the wall, second ball, Sean Johnson, a save to remember. As Toronto comes so close to leveling the match. Wow, what a save. Look at the athleticism of Sean Johnson to get down so fast. It's Justin Braun getting ready to come in for bright DK. Here's Mike McGee. Luis Anangano fires off the crossbar. 
so close to potentially icing this match. And here's that chance from Juan Luis Anangano. We get a good angle here now. See if it comes down and watch how it... No. No. Good decision. Never a goal. This is Patrick Niako. Slots the pass through to Alex. Numbers gathering for the fire. Alex as McGee. Alex keeps it with him. And just runs out of options. Probably should have went to McGee initially. Mike McGee is furious. And rightly so. Alex carved out the opportunity for himself. But you're right, Dan. He needed to play that ball to Mike McGee earlier. There's McGee from distance. Rebound and non Gano off the side of the post. First the crossbar, now the post. What is next, Juan Luis Anangano? Are you having a laugh? Just watch this one more time. Ball falls for Anangano. Great first touch. He just cracks the post. Again, so close. Woodwork in the way. Last chance for Toronto. Curled in, poked wide. Weed him in there. Referee looking at the watch. Hopefully this is the last chance for Toronto. Oh my word, so close. And that looks to be the final chance for Toronto. Back in the playoffs for now.